recently does your music relate to your life in particular? Recently, I've become a lot more okay with saying, you know what, Blame It On Me is about me. You know, that's, even though it's a song that I dreamt, when I woke up and, and sang it out loud, mm -hmm. it hit home, it touched me. Yeah. Uh, so some of the songs are really close, and some of them I'm stealing from other people's lives. Yes, yeah, so let's come back to Let Freedom Rain, your mm -hmm. third album. Yeah. Now, why name the album Let Freedom Rain? Let Freedom Rain was about uh, liberation and, and allowing yourself to be exactly who you want to be without mm -hmm. worrying about what other people have to say. Yeah. I shaved my head before I finished that album, and uh, that was one of the most liberating things I had ever done, and it gave other women license to be liberated as well. Street radio for unsung hero, riding in the Rigo, trying to stay legal. My daughter found Nemo, I found the new primo. Yeah, you know how we do, we do it for the people. The people said that I was sharp on TV at the Grammys. Though they tried to India, I read me. Got backstage and I bumped into Stevie. He said, No matter what, the people gon' see me. Can't leave rap alone, the streets need me. Hunger in their eyes is what seemed to be. I'm super intrigued by, uh, share with us at least one story, one story of a song that you've shared in the book, One Day It'll All Make Sense, that a lot of people don't know the backstory behind, that people have been surprised to read even. Well, I mean, I guess one of the most surprising stories is the first story in the book is when my father comes and kidnaps me and my mother, and, um, you know, and it's at gunpoint, and he takes us on this ride, because he's trying to go get, he used to play in the NBA, or the ABA, and he was trying to go get another, um, a tryout, and, and they told him he should bring his family. The revolution is here. Yeah. It's common sense. With DJ Premier. We gonna help y'all see clear. I read somewhere, and I hope I'm, I'm not incorrect, but I read somewhere that after Can I Borrow a Dollar, you weren't too sure about still continuing in the music game. Well, I just knew that nobody had really recognized me. It was like one of those things where you, you got such high expectations, like yeah. I'm bringing out an album, yeah. ah, this is gonna be incredible, and then you do it and it's like, dang, they ain't really respond. It didn't happen, like, you know, because it's as a kid, you dream of, of achieving these things and putting out a record, and you think once you put out a record, you, everybody's gonna respond. It's going, you're gonna have record sales, you're gonna get all this money. And the reality of, of the music business hit me real quick, but it was a great lesson, great lessons. And I still keep learning lessons. Yeah.